Hey guys, today I'll show you how to install a virtual mean on also host VPS running Debian 12. So virtual mean supports these operating systems. So the latest is uh, Debian 12 and Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. But we will install a virtual mean on Debian 12. So you need to have a VPS on also host go to also host and get at least uh, 2 gigabyte of RAM or much better a 4 gigabyte of RAM and be sure to choose Debian 12 as your operating system and I am here on my VPS control panel and this is my IP so let's connect to our VPS server using SSH client called Bitvice. So let's run Bitvice. Paste your IPv4 here and use port 22 and your username is root and just click login. Accept and save. Okay, your root password is located under server information tab. Okay, just copy this one, paste it here, and hit OK. Go to New Terminal Console. Okay, let's update our server packages. Okay, now let's install virtual mean. So if you're using Debian, just copy this one. And if you're using Ubuntu, just copy sudo. But if you want to use sudo, you can add a sudo user on Debian and be sure to install sudo first. So let's go to our terminal, paste it here and hit enter. Okay, we'll just choose Y. Okay, now let's access our virtual mean. Just copy this IP address and 10,000 port. So let's open a new tab. Click advanced accept the risk and continue okay so your default username and password is root and let's go back to our control panel and just copy our root password and click sign in Okay, now let's proceed to post installation. Just click next. Okay, I will just choose yes. Click next. Okay, if you want to set up your email, you need to enable Clam AV for security just click next okay we'll use spam assassin click next okay just uh click next we will use my eadb uh, database okay if you want to set a password for your mydb you can set it here but if not you can use your root uh password I'll set this to my own next okay we'll just skip this part and just click next okay we'll go to next okay we will use um, hash for security Okay, we'll just choose uh, system defaults. Ok, 
Okay, just next. Okay, let's finish. Okay, now let's uh, recheck and refresh configuration. Okay, great. Now we will set our virtual mean to use a subdomain instead of an IP address. To do that, let's go to webmin. Okay, click this uh, system host name. Okay, we will use, for instance, cp. That webshanks. That shop. We will use the subdomain to access our virtual min, and our uh, DNS servers are our ipv4 address so this is your ipv4 paste it here on your dns servers and just click save okay perfect let's apply the configuration next we'll go to virtual mean let's add a new virtual server let's say cp dot webshops.shop okay let's generate password and okay uh, will not accept mail for this domain so just click create server okay let's return to our uh, virtual server details okay great all is good okay let's go to our virtual mean now let's go to manage virtual server. Okay, just set up SSL certificate. And go to let's encrypt. And we will request an SSL certificate for this um, subdomain, but we need to have an A record first. So go to your domain register. I'll be using Cloudflare for this. Okay, let me just log in. Okay, we will use CP as our subdomain. Let me just uh, disable this one first. Okay, just add CP as your uh, subdomain and your IPv4 for an A record. And just wait for a few minutes for this. Uh, DNS record to propagate. Okay, now let's uh, request a certificate. Co of course, we need to automatically renew our certificate. And okay, just uh, click request certificate. Okay, great. Uh, now let's access our virtual mean using our uh, subdomain. Okay, I'll just copy this one. and we'll paste it here and be sure to, to add 10,000 as our port okay let's and let's copy our password Okay, perfect. We are now using uh, a subdomain to access our, our virtual main. And this is how you will install a virtual main on also host VPS running Debian 12. You can now install WordPress, Joomla, or other web applications you want to install on a virtual main. So if you have any questions, just drop them on the comments section. And if this video helped you in any way, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video.